Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Super Seducer 2. Before we start this video, the thumbnail, for the very special thumbnail, it says right here on my Twitter, if you want to follow me, here it is. New thumbnail star OC, OC is created by Spongerman1, Bolly, Bolly Yolly, Balls Blueberry, three. So I'll just go there for. Okay. There's theirs. There's. Gaming King Robbie Ray, I always think about doing a collaboration together. Beach Boy. I'll leave them all in the link below and also um, Demon King Robbie Ray's girlfriend, Doodle Girl. Go follow her as well. But what game we're playing is Super Seducer 2. We're going to do story mode. I have one recorded, but I think I should uh, do the one I like the most. And it's this one. The man, the myth, the legend, Mahmood, is in town, and he has some dates. Can he seduce uh, his Habibi? <laughs> Will the 25-year-old age cap help or hinder him? Go, Hibby, Hibby be love. There he is. <laughs> There's Mahmood. Oh uh, yeah. There's our guy. No, wait, that's not him. Finally. I finally got my fucking Starbucks, bitch. Actual honest picture. Uh, picture of Richard. I'm fine with that. If any guys want to use my picture on Tinder. No, that's catfishing, and that's a big no. Because I know if I chose to use an actual picture, that would be wrong. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go to a fancy restaurant. So yeah, if you're kind of an older, cool guy, I think the restaurant is a solid one, especially compared to some environment where it might seem old, like a trendy right. bar. Yeah, and also if you are very clever with where you pick, I think that shows a little bit more thought's just gone into it rather than just the fanciest restaurant or the most popular. We're going to Wendy's. So Mahmoud, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. I'm busy today, you know, I have yeah, yeah. business day. meetings. Well, I've got a date with a beautiful American girl tonight. Okay. You know me. What's she look like? I want to try to do a good, I want to try to do the right answers first, yeah. and then afterward. Boobies. Big boobs? Big boobs. Uh, ah, right. me and him both. We <laughs> love big boobs. What's the game plan? The game plan is, I will go, meet her, seduce her, and slay her. But what, is she intelligent? Is that you know me, Richard? As long as she has a nice personality, that's all that counts. Is it personality or personality? I think you got it all under control. So I wish you good luck. You let me know how it goes. Yeah, I will. I will but, call you. But don't send me the pictures like you did last time. I don't need to what, see with the horses. Oh, with all of that. And well, okay. Other thing. You, I, know, I mean, you know what wait, I'm looking for. Wait, what? With the yourself. horses. Good okay, luck, Richard. What see, are you doing to the horses? <laughs> Bye. Mahmoud. Max. Hello. Oh yeah, Mahmoud up in this bitch. I wonder how much money this game made. I'm sad it's not on PlayStation, but it's on Xbox. Oh yeah, my boy Mahmoud. Okay, I'm gonna skip this just in case. It's me. Please be seated. That was a younger uh, picture of me. You don't look like your photo. I want to do the bad one. I 
made a mistake at your PA. Apologize. Deny, deny, deny. Uh, call her out for her shallowness. I don't know. I I think because last time the one I recorded before this that I want to record after this that I want to upload after this is I got too many red ones wrong. Even though I was being so nice, so it's not. Uh, you know what? I don't care either. I don't. We'll just uh, deny, deny, deny. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, it's me. There's no way this is you. Well, that is definitely me. But, you know, in 1982. 1982? I wasn't even alive in 1982. Yeah, what a great year. I, I, I could tell you all about it. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> okay. At least just five minutes. Please. You'll really love it. Okay. But only for five minutes. Well, thank you, my precious. Maybe I should have did the other one. So, obviously, it's not him. So, Mahmoud could have been better here, right? Yeah. Denying it when it's obviously not him. It doesn't really show that he's truthful and an honest human being. Mm -hmm. Human being? Yeah. Human being or being? I knew you were going to pick me up on that one. Human being? Yes. Human being. Soya bean. <coughs> okay, that's enough. Emma, how about some beef? Sure. Tea for two. <laughs> when she found out he has bodyguards and he's rich as fuck, shisha. I think she changed her mind. They do lovely strawberry and daffodil. Kala! Mm. Hey! Come here, you motherfucker. Yes, sir. My child. Strawberry and daffodil shisha for me and my princess. Pronto! Yes, sir. Don't call her your first date a princess. Uh, that's, uh, Ask her if she's still a That's the first thing. Gotta choose with this. Okay. Validate her for not being judgmental and shallow like most women are her age. Let's do that one. Emma, I need to compliment you on your character. You made such a good decision in staying, and you made Mahmoud very happy today. Are you speaking Think in third person? That, you know, this is a very special moment for both of us. Oh, I appreciate the compliment. I try to give everyone a second chance. You know what? Super Deducer 4 to needs to have too. Big Ed in it if they're going to make a 4. Cheers. Cheers. Because I know they made a 3 because it's on here. He's, yeah, I played it, but... That's bloody judgmental shallow women, yeah? Flattery 101. So, Mahmoud. What do you do for a living? Passionate about what I do and make a difference. Say, say uh, you have a family business. YKK Zips. Uh, listen, I don't didn't come here to talk business with a woman. Tell her not to worry about money. That's you will look after her. That <laughs> you will look after her. Gotta make a difference. Well, am I? passionate about what I do, and I really like to make a difference. Me too. I think it's really important. I mean, at least we have something in common. Yeah, that's nice. No, it's perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why do that's you right, and I think it's seats? a recurring theme that it's always attractive for a guy to be passionate about something, and... You know, if he says he's trying to make the world a better place as well, that's even better. I think it's a little bit more interesting than just saying very... Okay, you know what? I don't want to make this video long. We've been talking. Emma, did I tell you oh, that I'm a trained uh, physician? No. Yeah, I like to help out in the community when I can. It's wonderful. Uh. Uh. Please, I am ready for you. Remove the beautiful dress. Your chair is waiting. <laughs> what is I doing? So, Mahmoud, what do you like to do in your spare time? Emma, this is not about Mahmoud. This is about you. What do you like to do? <laughs> Me? I like to read, I like to write, I like to dance. Dance? What yeah. type of dancing? Uh, mostly ballet. Ballet? Yeah. Russian ballet? I've never seen I'm Russian ballet. I'm going to book us some tickets. <laughs> Maybe. 
maybe. <laughs> Make an assumption about based on her interests. Ask if she ever had to. I said I was trying to do good. I was trying to get no red ass. So you'd like to read? Which means you're intelligent. You like to write? Which means you're curious. And you like ballet. You are cultured. Am I right? I'm sorry, it's been not rude. And I'm not being patronizing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> That's the right answer. Um, making assumptions is a nice way to break up Why are the questions other people and here? That you might <laughs> Why are they have. here? And it's cool because when you try to make assumptions, you're obviously going to need to listen there well. standing there doing nothing. Just and you're, if you get it right, it's impressive. If you don't, it at least at shows Richard. you're making an attempt to connect and to listen. This place is really cool. I've never been anywhere like it. I only dine in the finest places. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> your hookah, please. Here's your hookah, bitch. <laughs> Would you just curse her out? So your daughter is beautiful, sir. The fuck? <laughs> How would you think that's his daughter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a threesome. Ask him his, about his future career plans. Call in your damn security guards. You stupid Woody Woodpecker shit! Don't give me fucking shit like that! Security! Get out! He's calling security. He doesn't even this hold this place. I know it's his security, uh, but... Don't you fucking... I stick fucking hooker up your ass! Fucking motherfucker! He like that. Look at him. He like that. That's why... Nobody. Nobody fucks with Mahmoud. I guess not. That was amazing. See, she liked that. Show how rich he is. No smoke came out. <laughs> I think this is not a bad move. Obviously, you know, for the guys watching this, maybe, I don't know, 82% of guys playing the game have security guards. So should they <laughs> 82%. use them in a case like this? What do you think? Would you like it? Would you be impressed? I wouldn't be impressed, but if it, if it, if I felt that I was safer because they brought them in, but it depends on the situation. Gotcha. Where did the other guy go? <laughs> guy in the back door. So tell me, Mark Wood, how old are you? How old is he? You'll have to choose. I'm in my family. That, oh no! Oh no! I remember this one. I in my family. They say you are as old as the sum of your child brother. <laughs> 50, but I'm young at heart. Tell her that she's too young for you and ask whatever she is immature. 50, but I'm young at heart. Just see where that goes. 50, but what is age? Age is just a number. Yeah, I guess so. That's true. We can get along with people of all ages. Do you normally like younger women? I love younger women, you know, because I'm young at heart. I've got so much love to give everybody. <laughs> What happens when they get a little older? I'd place them with the next model. <laughs> oh, my God. You're too much. Really. I'm everything for you. Eh, fair enough. <laughs> I guess so. Am I winning? Am I winning the game finally? <laughs> yeah, this is not the best way of handling it. It's one of those critical moments. Not where the best way. Either she's going to get the impression that he's an old fogey loser, or she's going to start to think, you know, He's older and wiser, and maybe she's digger. too mature. <laughs> so, in this moment, either he can work to appear younger, or she could work to appear more mature. I think saying that you're young at heart insinuates that you are. Okay, I'm gonna skip those parts. Just get to these parts. Why are you just staring in the face? He's not saying anything, not talking. Only when I get to choose when he talks. Are we staring in each other's eyes? Licking your lips? No, let's not do that. I tell like you were in it. No. Mirroring her and gains. Mirroring her to gain. Leaning in to show you are interested in listening to her and then rocking back. Rocking back so she's invested. Oh, I'll say mirror her. <laughs> I 
different from my. You know what? At least this is more realistic than the passion puzzle game. Hey, you wanna fuck? Sure! <laughs> this and Hoonie Pop is more realistic. realistic. She likes it, it seems like. Okay, I can't watch any more of that. So, <laughs> or yeah. this. I'm ready to get to the game. Basically, it's not a game, really. Are you gonna call that a phone? <laughs> I'm watching a TikTok. Wait, TikTok wouldn't exist when, it, when this game came out. Like, it's not gonna exist anymore. But what, by September, I think? I think they have like a 45 day deadline. Pretend to be talking to and uh, call her out and uh, pretend to read emails of your own. Grab her phone and throw it in the drink. Uh, pretend to be, pretend. Hello? Ah, uh, Robert. How are you, Mr. President? Oh, it's a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah, you will be coming to Jenny's christening? Oh, that will be wonderful. Can't wait to see you. Yeah, definitely. Pleasure. Okay, bye-bye, Robert. Who is that? It's Robert, my friend. Robert Mugabe. Your friend is Robert Mugabe? Oh my god. Wow. That's not a lot of people. Alright, so the old Robert Mugabe phone trick to show that you've also got important things going on. Good one. Oh, no, and also, are you really going to answer the phone to the president? <coughs> during the day. Who's ex-president? Well, of someone of that importance. I think it's only... Who's Robert Mugabe? I don't know who that is. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got a happy chat. Do you have happy chat? I know I know one of the answers. Ask her to help you set up an account. The teenager app, you said you were mature. You, Yeah, I have it. I had my three wives. Uh... A, because yes, I have an account. My username is Team Pussy Lover. Yeah, it's Happy Chat. It's really fun. Happy Chat? Yeah. <coughs> that was, that was you stupid. Know that was stupid. Out of my throat. I can definitely help you. Yeah. What username would you give, Mahmoud? The Iron Sheik. <laughs> you got a great sense of humor. It worked. I don't care what their opinions the are. Sorry, I'm not in the best mood. I just got the worst message on Happy Chat. My friend, roommate, she's left the country and I can't get a hold of her. I don't really think she's going to be helping out with any of our bills, so. And her stack of cat, no. Uh, I trusted you, but you are only after m Moose money. We just met, but it turns out I can I can trust you. You won't have any pro. That's it. okay. That well, that's a good idea. That's a good. I've only just met you, and you know, if I can trust you, then you know things will be okay. Well, of course, you can trust me, but that's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Please, Mahmoud has a big heart, and he helps people close to him. That's actually really sweet. I like hearing that. Thank you. Right. Oh, <laughs> we're actually going to finally win this game. Thank you. Please. I've been Sorry. trying to pick the good answers. Cool. That's the right choice. You know, if a guy is super loaded, this it's a fine line between kind of flashing the money. Or <laughs> Put it on an or stack and say if you want a piece of Big Mac. I need to show my unique selling points. It might finally go. <gasps> Talk about your life and is settled, and you're happy, and you don't have any ambitions to do it anymore. Give her some advice on what to do to follow her passion. Talk about prostate exam and graphic detail. Give her some advice on what to do to follow her passion. Talk about your life. Uh, I'll do C. Give her some advice. So Emma, tell me what you plan to do with your masters. That's what I'm deciding right now. I don't know what to do. Well, I do. It's either my path.
passion or it's money. I don't know. The corporate world isn't very fun, but my passion for helping people. Emma, you have to follow your passion, darling. You're only in your 20s. You have your life ahead of you. That's true. A pretty creature like you will go far. There's so many things I can do, and I just don't know how to choose just one. And I feel like choosing one means getting rid of all the rest, and now I'm just sitting here. Life is about sacrifices, my darling. That's true. Yes, it is. Okay. I, I want to get to the good tw 25 minutes. I want to see if I won the damn game. Why should you just get up and leave? Why should I can't even win the game? Uh. You know, to be honest, Mahmoud, I was a little skeptical when I first got here. I was about to leave, but there was just something about you that was really sweet, and I'm really glad I gave you a second chance, because otherwise you wouldn't have had this nice evening. My man McMood going to hit it? Come on, let him win it. Let me win the damn game of this. Fifteen minutes later. Um, I'm sensing there's, you know, a little spark missing. You know, maybe it's the age gap, or you know, I don't know, but you know, I have a suggestion for you. Oh, God, what is the suggestion? Stop me. Invite her to a charity party. Invite her to become one of your unpaid whores. I'll go with A. <laughs> I, have a I have an exclusive invitation for Amnesty International at Sotheby's. Why don't you be my guest? You're very well to do an important people there. You can wear that lovely dress and there'll be a lot of fine artwork and fine dining. Please. Come on. So yeah, you know, if um, if a date hasn't gone fantastically, or you're inviting someone on, on, on another meeting, and you know, you're not so sure if they'll say yes, if you have some really cool date idea, whether it's something super fancy, or just something really interesting, or if you invite other people as well, like her friends. Okay, I don't care. I want to beat the game. You know, Montrude, that is literally one of my dreams, and I would love to go. Okay everything about it, but there's just one thing. It's with you. I don't think so. Sorry. You gotta be fucking kidding. Yeah, I was pardon. being... Mm -hmm. I think you should look for someone your own age. How dare you insult me like that? After I wine and dine you? <gasps> you just showed your class! Two. <laughs> well... No way of even beating this game. Too bad on this occasion it's not the best possible outcome, so better luck next time. How? <laughs> oh, yeah, this girl walks in. Socially, uh, uh, socially awkward. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> well, that was something, but I want to listen to the music. But thank you, all you guys. Oh, I got a message. And I got something here. But thank all these guys right here for being a part of this thumbnail. Go follow their Twitter. I'll put them down in the description below. To be honest, I, I enjoyed drawing this one. I really did. It's just a cute design. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Hope you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.